Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're going to go over four worked examples to show you how to do problems involving specific heat capacity. Now, if you haven't already done so, check out my previous video covering the theory on this topic, and that way you'll be able to apply what we learned in that video to this one. So let's get started. Question one says, how much heat energy is required to heat up four kilograms of water from 15 degrees Celsius to 60 degrees Celsius? Well, writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find the heat energy EH. We know from the data sheet that the specific heat capacity C for water is 4,180 joules per kilogram per degree Celsius. We know that the mass M is equal to four kilograms, and the change in temperature delta T is equal to the final temperature, which is 60 degrees Celsius, minus the initial temperature, which was 15 degrees Celsius. So we can rewrite this as 45 degrees Celsius. So writing down our equation relating heat energy and specific heat capacity, we have EH equals CM delta T. Substituting in the numbers gives 4,180 times 4 times 45, and putting that into your calculator should give you an answer of 7.5 times 10 to the 5 joules. Question 2 says that a material requires 5,000 joules of energy to change the temperature of a 2 kilogram mass by 5 degrees Celsius. Part A says to find the specific heat capacity of the material. Well, writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find C. We know that EH, the heat energy, is 5,000 joules. We know that the mass is 2 kilograms, and we're told the change in temperature here is 5 degrees Celsius. So writing down our equation relating specific heat capacity to heat energy, we have EH equals CM delta T. Substituting in the numbers gives us 5,000 equals C times 2 times 5. 2 times 5 is the same as 10, so we can divide both sides by 10 to get C equals 500 joules per kilogram per degree Celsius. Part B then says, which material is this? Well, what you would need to do at this stage is look at your data sheet and look at what material has 500 joules per kilogram per degree Celsius for its specific heat capacity. So if you do that, you should see that from the data sheet, C is equal to 500 joules per kilogram per degree Celsius for glass. So the material is glass. Question 3 says that if 24,000 joules of energy is supplied to a 2 kilogram block of iron, what will its final temperature be if its initial temperature was 22 degrees Celsius? Well, what we need to do here is first calculate the change in temperature delta T. So writing down we know from the question, we're trying to find delta T. We know that EH is 24,000 joules. We know that the mass M is 2 kilograms. We know that C, the specific heat capacity for iron, is 480 joules per kilogram per degree Celsius from the data sheet. And writing down our equation, we have EH equals CM delta T. Substituting in our numbers, we get 24,000 equals 480 times 2 times delta T. 480 times 2 is 960. So we can then divide both sides by 960 in your calculator, and we end up with delta T is equal to 25 degrees Celsius. However, remember we were asked for the final temperature, not the change in temperature, and we're given the initial temperature. So what we can do now is calculate the final temperature T final. So let's write delta T, the change in temperature, as being equal to the final temperature minus the initial temperature and we're trying to find the final one, remember. So let's sub in the numbers, and we get 25 for the change in temperature as we calculated up here. We know that T initial is 22, so we can then add 22 to both sides to get T final equals 47 degrees Celsius. Lastly, question four says that a mains kettle is used to heat 0.75 kilograms of water from 25 degrees Celsius to 95 degrees Celsius in three minutes. Part A says to find the energy needed. So writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find EH. We know that C for water is 4,180 joules per kilogram per degree Celsius. We know the mass is 0.75 kilograms. And delta T, the change in temperature, is equal to the final temperature, 95 degrees Celsius, minus the initial temperature of 25 degrees Celsius, which gives us 70 degrees Celsius for delta T. So writing down our equation, we have EH equals CM delta T. Substituting in the numbers gives 4,180 times 0.75 times 70, and putting that into your calculator should give you an answer of 2.2 times 10 to the 5 joules. Part B then says calculate the power of the kettle. Well, we've just calculated an energy and we've actually already got a time from the question up here, three minutes. So we should be thinking about the power, energy and time equation here. So we're trying to find the power of P. Energy is the heat energy EH, which is 2.2 times 10 to the 5 joules. And here we're just assuming that all the energy from the kettle goes into heating up the water. And then we have the time T is three minutes, but we need to rewrite that in seconds. So three times 60 is 180 seconds. So our equation relating power, energy and time is P equals EH over T, or P equals E over T, but I've just used the EH subscript to mean heat energy here. And we can then sub in our numbers to get 2.2 times 10 to the 5 divided by 180. Putting that into your calculator should give you an answer of 1.2 times 10 to the 3 watts. Lastly, part C says to calculate the current in the element of the kettle. So we're trying to find the current I. We know that the power P is 1.2 times 10 to the 3 watts from part B, 
and we know the voltage V is equal to 230 volts because remember in the question it said mains kettle so that means we're dealing with the mains which operates at 230 volts. So writing down our power equation relating power, current and voltage we have P equals IV. Rearranging for current I we can divide both sides by V to get I equals P over V. Substituting in the numbers gives 1.2 times 10 to the 3 divided by 230 and if you put that into your calculator you should get an answer of 5.2 amps. That's all for this video folks, thanks for watching, if you made it to the end I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.